In the previous lecture, we have learned LCF and LCM. So today, we will solve some questions, previous year ISR questions on these topics. So the given question is a mixed fraction. 3, 1 upon 2 plus 2, 3 upon 4 plus 1, 1 upon 4 plus 5, 1 upon 2. We have to simplify and find the answer. What is the answer? That is the question. So how do you simplify this? Now the mixed fraction we have to first convert it to a improper fraction. That means 3, 1 upon 2. How do you convert to an improper fraction? Write the denominator just like that. Multiply these two. So 2, 3, so 6. Add the numerator. So 7. What is the other number? 2, 3 upon 4. Similarly, if you do, you will write the denominator just like that. Then you have to multiply these two. So it is 8, 2, 4, so 8. 8 plus 3, 11. So, we have two more numbers. 1 upon 1, 1, 1 upon 4. So, what do you do? Write the denominator just like that. Multiply these two. 4 plus 1, 5. And 1 more, 5, 1 upon 2. Again, we will multiply these two numbers. First, write the denominator just like that. So, 2 5s are 10 plus 1, 11. So, now all the numbers we got. So, this equals what 7 upon 2 plus 11 upon 4 plus 5 upon 4 plus 11 upon 2. Now, we will find the LCM. How do you find the LCM? Write all the denominators 2, 4, 4, 2. We will divide by 2 all. 1, 2, 2, 1. Again, we have to divide by 2. 1, we will just write it like that. 1, 1, 1. So our LCM equal to LCM equals to what here? LCM equals 2 multiplied by 2. So we will get it as 4. LCM we got 4. Now we will simplify this. How do you simplify? <coughs> Write the LCM in the denominator 4. Write the first number that is 7 upon 2. You have to multiply this with the LCM. Do this for all the numbers. 11 upon 4 plus, you know, multi we have to multiply by the LCM. 4 plus 5 upon 4 multiply by LCM. 4 plus 11 upon 2 multiplied by 4. Now, so here we can cancel. So this will be 2. 4, 4 cancels. 1 will be left. Here also 4, 4 cancel, 1 will be left. So here we will get 2. Now if we simplify this, what do we get? 7, 2, sir, 14. Plus 11. Plus 5. Plus 22 upon 4. What do we get? 11 plus 14, 25. 30. 52, 52 upon 4, which equal to 13. So 13 is the answer for this question. 13 is the answer. It's a simple question, so we can do it in another way also. See here. See, this is the 1 by 2 means 3 and half. 1 by 2 means half. So if we add this 3 and half and 3 and half, 5 and half, what you will get? 5 plus 3, 8. 
what we get 5 plus 3 8 half half will give 1 so 9 now 9 plus this is 3 by 4 2 this is 3 by 4 we have here 2 3 by 4 we have it here here 1 by 4 if you add 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 we will get 1 this comes to 2 plus 1 3 plus this fraction 4 we will get 4 so we can do it easily this also this also gives easily 13 so 13 is the answer let's go to the next question here here this question is much more simple uh, 1 upon 5 plus 2 upon 10 plus 3 upon 15 equal to what we have to find out equals first what we do we have to find the LCM so we have 5 10 15 so using the smallest prime number we will try to divide with the two you can't with the two we can divide this right if I divide by 2 what I will get 5 I will just write like that here I will get 5 15 I will get it so again the next uh, smallest prime number which is possible to divide is 5 so I will get 1 1 3 if I divide this by 3 what I get 1 1 1 so here LCM equals what 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1 so it comes to 2 5 sir 10 10 3 sir 30 so 30 is the LCM we got the LCM now we'll simplify this so first I'll write the LCM what is the LCM 30 so 1 upon then 1 upon 5 we have to multiply by LCM plus 2 upon 10 multiply by LCM what is LCM 30 plus 3 upon 15 multiply by LCM that is 30 now if you simplify this what we get the denominator we have 30 this will be 6 6 5 are 30 here it will be 3 here it cancels we will get 2 so now 6 plus 2 3 are 6 6 plus what is there 2 again 2 3 are 6 so which equal to 18 upon 30 so if we simplify this we can divide numerator and denominator by 3 so what we get 6 upon 6 upon 10 we get again we can simplify this so if I we can divide by 2 so it will be 3 upon 5 so the answer is 3 upon 5 3 upon 5 So this is the third question. Uh, this question what we have to do, we have to find the SCF. HCF of 12, 18, 24. What, how do you find, I already explained you, how do you find the SCF in the previous lecture. If you are not seen and if you don't know, please watch it. So we will solve this question. So we have to factorize these numbers. 12 if I factorize, what do I get? With 2 I will divide. Or this 12 is a or oh, even number so I will divide by 2 again 6 6 is also an even number again I divide by 2 and I got 3 I will take 3 once so 1 I will get so this I factorized already and which is the other number 18 18 18 also an even number so I will start dividing by 2 so 9 it's an odd number so I divide by 3 I will get 3 again I can divide by 3 I'll get 1 <coughs> sorry next number is 24 24 also I will factorize so it's an even number so I'll divide by 2 I'll get 12 again I can divide by 2 6 again I'll divide by 2 3 
3 is a odd number, so I'll divide by 3, I'll get 1. Now, how do I find the ICF? I'll write the numbers 12 in factors 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1. What about 18? 18 equals 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1. What about 24? 24. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1. Now I will take the common numbers from this. See all these three numbers, 2 is a common factor for all these three numbers. Then uh, what else is common? The next is 3 is common in all these numbers. Correct? Only these two numbers are common. So HCF equals, we have to multiply these two numbers, then we will get the HCF. 2 multiplied by 3. So 6 is the highest to common factor. So answer is option C, 6. Okay, this is the last question today we are solving and it is a simple question. Already we know how to solve it. We have to find the LCM. How do you find the LCM? Write the numbers 9, 8, 12, comma separated, then start dividing by the smallest prime number. So I will start with 2. 9 I can't divide, so it will be 4, 6. Again I will take 2. 9 I can't divide by 2, so I will just write it like that. 4 divided by 2 equal to 2, 3. Again, I divide by 2. So, what will be there? 9, 1, 3. Again, I will divide by 3. So, this will be 3 times 1, 1. Again, I will divide by 3. 1, 1, 1. So, LCM. If I multiply all these numbers, I will get the LCM. 2 multiplied by 2. 3 times are there. 2 multiplied by 3. 3 multiplied by 1. So this is equal to what? 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 threes are 24, 24 threes are 72. So 72 is the answer. So the answer is option A, 72. I hope these uh, videos are useful to you. Please share with your friends. Thanks for watching.